Hello, my name is Bill Andrews from Exagrid, Tiered Backup Storage. And today we're going to talk about what is tiered backup storage. Well, we have six goals in backup storage. We want the fastest performance for the shortest backup window, the fastest restore performance so we can keep users productive, a fixed length backup window so that the backup window doesn't grow over time as data grows, that we have all the security we need, including to be able to recover from a ransomware recovery attack, and also uh, good disaster recovery and low cost. So for performance, there's a disk cache landing zone where the data comes in without any processes, no data deduplication at all, so the backups are fast. All of the data is stored in its full form, again, not deduplicated, for very fast restores for user productivity. Every appliance has processor, memory, networking, and disk capacity so that all the resources scale as the data grows to keep a fixed length backup window. The second tier is a non-network facing tier where all the data is deduplicated, including the data that lives in the landing zone, so that if the front end, anything that is network facing is compromised, you have a complete set of data that's in a non-network facing tier. We call it a virtual air gap, and it has delayed deletes and immutable data objects. For disaster recovery, we can replicate offsite to a third party data center, to your own data center, even to AWS or Azure, such as the public clouds, so that you can recover from a disaster such as a fire, a flood, or an earthquake, etc. Lastly, we have the lowest cost up front and over time with tier backup storage because you eliminate forklift upgrades with scale out. And because you can mix and match any size or age appliance in a single system, it eliminates planned product obsolescence. Again, my name is Bill Andrews from Exagrid. Thanks for joining.